I wrote this letter and I said, I know I can do the Prime Minister, Margaret Thatcher. So the guy saw me, but John Lloyd, the producer, saw me because he thought he'd make a good bar story. Um, and, and then he said, what are you what are going to do? I said, I'll, 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 you know, I'll, I'll, I'll do Thatcher for you. Um, and then suddenly I just went into it. And I think he was rather surprised. This, this rather strange young man, I was 22 at the time, suddenly sounding like Margaret Thatcher. And he very, very kindly uh, gave me the job on the spot. Both Michael Foote and Jim Callaghan had one thing I could admire. They were losers. One of my favourite voices on, on Spitting Image was um, Roy Hattersley. He always said that Spitting Image was a, a great show. It's an, of course, I have to say that I am the eponymous hero of Spitting Image because I am the only puppet that actually spits. Neil, are you sure it's a good idea putting Paul Boateng in the shadow tablet? I mean, he is. You know. Yes, I know, Royston, but we've got to have one. I mean, I've got nothing against them personally, but a socialist on the front bench. Uh, you're dribbling, Roy. Sorry, you. I also had to operate the puppet, and the spitting mechanism used to come out, which was in the and used to dribble down your arm. <laughs> you know, when it gets under your armpits, and it starts to wiggle, and you have to put the puppet down. So we had all those sort of technical problems. Can you remember the war, Granny? Oh, yes. Things weren't so easy then. The whole family squeezed into three palaces. John Lloyd, our producer, said, have you got some new voices? I said, yeah, I've got Beryl Reed." He said, what use is that? I said, well, why don't we have Beryl Reed's sort of broomy character from, you know, as the Queen Mother? And we did, and we had this wonderful sketch where she said, oh, I'm terribly busy today. Between 11 and 12, I've got to be a credit to the nation. Were you surprised when the war started? Yeah. Oh, I was, yes. I remember I was listening to the wireless when all of a sudden Mr Chamberlain said he'd declare war on Germany. Oh. So I turned round and said, shut up, Mr Chamberlain, and tried to listen to the wireless. Oh, wow, mm. you're amazing, yes. Gwen. I would just like to say it's marvellous to talk down to you. <laughs>